Welcome back. Now we're in Kogi State in Yagbede community precisely for the burial of one of their sons, Elder Peter Ayeni. The hearse carrying the remains of Elder Peter Ayeni, elder brother of the chairman of Sky Bank, Mr. Latunde Ayeni, arrives at the family house for a brief lining stage. His wife and members of his family have the opportunity to see him for the last time. Without wasting much time, his remains were taken to the graveside where he was interred. It was an emotional time for his family. After the internment, the family moved to the evangelical church winning all Equa in Iyabade, Ijumu local government area of Kogi State for a special thanksgiving and commendation service. The service, which drew a large crowd of people, also had some dignitaries in attendance, like the Deputy Governor of Kogi State, Yomi Awuniyi, former Governor of Kogi State, Abubakar Audu, wife of the Open State Governor, Mrs. Funshaw Amosu, Senator Smart Adiyemi, Kogi State's PDP Chieftain, Chief Olishola Akomode, and other guests sharing this moment of grief with the family. <laughs> you be remembered for when you leave this world is one of the questions asked by the officiating minister during his sermon. How do you earn your life? Without any amount of doubt, let it appear I am in a different way. That is why we are celebrating him today. Special songs were also rendered by the women choir of Equa Church. And the moment came as tributes began to pour in, beginning with his son, Timilei, and younger sister, Mrs. Olufunke Jeminiwa. Successfully prepared and empowered mentally, spiritually, and morally. <clears throat> the virtues I acquired through him made him my role model, mentor, and teacher. As a growing young boy, we have moments of vision, 
and disagreements. I know sometimes led to us not being able to sit in the same season. But now that I know, I realize all those times we were looking for my own benefit. For the Kogi State Deputy Governor, this is a time for sober reflections. For us to search our souls and to see where we stand in our life's journey and to see if the trumpet sounds now, will we be able to make heaven? I appeal to us all to rededicate our lives to service to mankind and to be of the spirit of worship. Worship. And the tributes continued with many more showering praises on the late elder Peter Ayeni. Attending the occasion of this mission, all this remain one for the fact that all men shall die. All men shall die. But the words of what I read to my brother, people in stress, is one who says that that is one of us. I know that by the grace of God, he is resting in the bosom of the Lord. We have heard his children speak, and it is of my opinion that he has left a legacy behind. His children are apparently children of God. What have we come for the world to perform if it is not to leave our legacy behind? They took time out for Thanksgiving in celebration of their father. The service did not end without his younger brother, Mr. Tunde Ayeni, appreciating everyone on behalf of the family. Thank God for joining us. I pray that the Almighty God will return you back to your destination safely. Uh, I pray that this kind of death will not be found in your families, will be to the fullness of our age. The service ended and later guests were entertained. He was a consummate civil servant. I happened to have worked with him. Um, when I was in PAMSEC Ministry of Commerce and Industry in Eloring, and he was one of the very senior staff. He was widely acclaimed and known to be a very dedicated and upright uh, gentleman. <laughs> Late Peter Amy was one time president of the Nigerian Institute of Management. He voluntarily retired from the Kogi State Civil Service in 2002 to set up his own private business. He was a devout Christian, married to Omonale Ayeni, and the union was blessed with children. Okay, what has a beginning definitely has an end, so we'll leave it here for this week. It continues again next week, but do remember that you can view these and past editions of Metrofile on channelstv.com. Follow me on Twitter at Ogechikwasi. Thank you so much for watching. i see you again next week.